Hello, my friends. This is Jay Dillon, Matt Hat, Internet Marketing Guru, 12-year veteran of Internet Marketing, <clears throat> uh, as opposed to one or two or some significantly less meaningless amount of Internet Marketing. Internet marketing covers an umbrella of a large amount of activities and I have a lot of videos online so I'm not here in this video to explain <clears throat> what those various internet marketing activities are that are included under that umbrella. But I am here as an interest, interested party in your business and uh, someone who may or may not be uh, hired to help you with your marketing to share with you some information on why you should give a shit about internet marketing. Would you believe that I have had attorney clients until recently, meaning like two or three years who are still advertising in yellow page directories? Two pages, full pages. Thousands of dollars, huge investment. You, who uses that anymore? You know what I do when I, because I receive this every year in my house doorstep when I get internet, when I get yellow page directories, it goes from my front door into my trash can. But I'm 34 years old, I'm not 75 years old. The only person using those directories to this day are people who are maybe 75 plus old, old school. They're used to using it, maybe they keep it and they use it for reference because uh, they ain't using this like the rest of the world. But the ones who are using this are your revenue generating customers. So you need to be here and on your laptop. <clears throat> it is a trend now that more smartphone devices are being distributed and sold than desktop and laptop computers. So what does that mean to you as a business owner and to me as a marketer? It means that you have more people searching for businesses on their phone, maybe in their car while they're driving, could be good, could be bad, that's to be determined, but uh, as far as a habit. but. That is more commonly taking place than actually desktop and laptop searches. So my friends, that is the trend. And if you are not appearing on mobile, you <clears throat> are at best potentially in a position to capture 40% of the market that are using desktops and laptops. And realistically, searchers who will see you probably 5%. Now, let's just say for the sake of example, you're an attorney, your personal injury attorney. I've used this several times, by the way, in the last few experiences, uh, last few years, my own life in Dallas. I am suddenly in an accident in terrible Dallas traffic, uh, freeway traffic, and I'm hit by a car. And, um, of course, I always end up taken to the emergency room for treatment. It's happened to me two times in the last two years because Dallas drivers are shitty. But that's another story. So what the person is going to do in the car or in the hospital is they're going to search. Uh, Dallas accident personal injury attorneys. And they're going to look who comes up. And they're going to look for the top three and they're going to call those three. And if that's your industry, you better be having a mm, operator or someone answering the phone 24-7. Because for some reason, at least in my case, my case is the ac these accidents happen at 9.30 or 10 p.m. on the way to the gym. So, <clears throat> I'm going to look that up. I'm going to call that person and I'm probably uh, <clears throat> going to uh, inquire about getting a case started. I usually don't do it that quickly. I will seek treatment, medical treatment, first and foremost, obviously. I will get the in other party's insurance information. I will get the state troopers or police department's uh, report, accident report, and so on and so forth. And uh, within 48 hours, um, contact the insurance company 
Um, uh, Dallas is a ridiculous place and it's happened to me two times and I have no patience for the nonsense anymore and selfishness and poor laws. So what I do is I give it 72 hours and if I don't get money to repair my vehicle or my medical bills paid for, I sue. So here's what I do. I go on my phone and I look for act personal injury attorneys. I look for the first three numbers. I start dialing. Whoever picks up becomes someone that I engage with and start a rapport with and start a conversation with. If you're in that, this is, this is one example I'm mentioning. If you're not in, the, in that industry and you're not visible in that case at the time of need, you don't get the business. Point being, you need to be visible and at the time of need, you need to be reachable. Okay, and if you're not doing mobile marketing and smartphone marketing, I'm sorry, my friends, but you're you're four years behind the technology curve, which means that your competition is getting the business and making money, and you're not. And you'll stall for a year or two, and then it'll clue in. You'll clue into it, and then you'll decide, oh, here's what we need to do. In the meantime, you'll have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. I've been doing this for 12 years. I see this year in and year out. That's why I say this so plainly and bluntly. Okay? Because I don't like to see you lose that money when you could be doing simple internet marketing, smartphone marketing, and mobile marketing and capturing those clients and that revenue. But you're not doing it today, a great majority of you. <clears throat> And by the way, Yellow Pages may have worked in the past, maybe in the 90s, 80s, 90s, and maybe it gave you a 10 to 1 return on your investment. You ain't getting that online, brother. You're going to get a 2 to 3 to 1 investment. It's a competitive landscape. People are spending a lot of money, and they're bidding high on these keywords to be visible. And if you don't have a few thousand dollars a month to put in, so that particular marketing expense, well, I don't know what to tell you. I think you're going to have to live on 100000 or 80000 a year, uh, which is pretty shitty given your investment in law school education. Uh, I mean, for fuck's sake, I make twice that much. And I have an MBA, not a law school degree. And, but I know what I'm doing. Um, and that's going to be your future. So I don't know how you look after your family and your kids' college education if you're in that situation. And I'm not trying to be um, mean about it. And I'm not trying to be uh, a, you know, a dick about it. I'm just saying um, I've just seen this so much, so frequently, that it, it it's an untapped opportunity that you should be doing and the fact that you're not doing it it pisses me off it pisses me off as a marketer and it pisses me off for you as a business owner who could be doing so much more in their business to look after themselves and maintain longevity of their business and new client acquisition and taking care of their family and children and so on and so forth but you're not doing it and um, some of you are not doing it because you're not aware that it's available and you should be doing it which is why I'm making you aware of it right now. Your competitors are doing it, some of them, not all, but some. And that's why they're succeeding and you're not. And some of you are not doing it because you don't know it's an option, you don't know it exists. And I'm also mentioning this to bring this to your attention. Everything has gone online. Nothing is on paper. Nothing is yet in yellow pages. Nothing is in your local directory. Nobody is using those books anymore. It's absolutely a waste of resources um, and sadly environmentally trees and paper and so on and so forth. But that's a different topic. So what you need to do is be thinking seriously if you want to make money. And I don't care what business you're in because I've done this for attorneys, plumbers, landscaping companies, um, AC repair companies, 
um, hospitals, medical facilities, back surgeries, orthopedic and spine surgeons. I mean, uh, it runs the gamut, okay? I just have that amount of, ex that breadth of experience. Excuse me. If you're not doing it, at least something um, online, on the PC, on your laptop, on mobile, you don't exist. You don't exist. Your customers are there looking for you someone and you're not an option for them okay now take your marketing budget <clears throat> and any savvy entrepreneur knows that you need to be looking at your gross receipts and putting aside 12 to 15 percent at a minimum towards marketing expenditure and take those dollars and put it into your digital marketing. If you're not doing that, you're A, not serious about marketing, and B, you don't give a shit about digital marketing. And that combined tells me that you're trying to make money by cutting your administrative costs and overhead, which means reducing your marketing budget, which means you're going to be out of business a year from now. I see it every year with all different kinds of companies since 2007 when I left Los Angeles so out there I see it here now you need to be putting that money aside and you need to be investing it in high ROI marketing activities the biggest mistake you're gonna make is you're gonna hire an agency to do that work for you that agency is gonna take 50 to 100 percent margin so if you spend ten thousand dollars for example with them seven thousand dollars a little more or less give or take is going to go into their bank account a couple thousand dollars is going to go into actual their man hours doing the work uh which is in my experience always been subpar meaning in no money generated we see a few directory listings we, feel, we see a few back, backlinks developed. We see a Facebook page updated. It's all small time bullshit, okay? If you want to grow a business, you have to be aggressive about it. And if you want to grow a business, you have to do two things. And without failure, you have to do two things. You have to take your existing customer base and, and sell them and upsell them to increase revenue acquired from your existing customer base and you have to acquire new incremental customers and start acquiring revenue from them. Those two things twofold are the only things that are going to grow your business. And the second one happens because we find you here. Let's say my heating unit went out. I'm in Dallas. It's hot. Let's say my air conditioning unit went out. By the way, um, I have the existing uh, unit still working well from 2001 in my house. So it's um, not going to last much longer, but that's a huge cost. $30,000 probably. Replace the air conditioning, furnace unit, outside condenser, and so on and so forth. Okay? It's a huge repair. If you're in that industry, there's a huge amount of revenue for you. It's a job you don't want to give up to someone else. I'm going to find you on my phone. You know how I'm going to find you? It's going to be 105 degrees in August, and I ain't suffering in 95 degrees in my house or sleeping. I'm going to look for someone who's open 24-7, because even if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I need this shit fixed. And I'm going to look for you, and I'm going to search you out, and whoever answers the phone... I'm going to go come fix this motherfucker, okay, so I can get on with my life. It's $30,000 revenue, gross and receipts, right there. Um, your competitors are doing this too. By the way, your competitors are doing this, um, I would say, half, uh, generally speaking, um, more aggressively than you are. So it's a competitive landscape. It's ever evolving. It's constantly changing. It's constantly changing the. Uh, it's constantly chasing the dog's tail. 
Yes, that's how it works. That you got to stay on top of it. There ain't no day sleeping in or a week sleeping in because you're sick and letting your business keep going. Life doesn't work that way. My job doesn't work that way. I have to stay on top of SEO and digital marketing every day. I have to twice a week invest a few hours uh, each of those days reading what the uh, digital marketing gurus have to say about latest best practices. I have to looking, be looking at trends and the directions that digital marketing is going. I have to be looking at what are the next uh, prominent social media sites. I'll give you an example. Pinterest was thought to be um, four or year, five years ago the next big thing. It was going to blow up, maybe overtake Facebook. We looked at it. We had to look at it serious. We had to follow it on a daily basis. It didn't happen to take place. Facebook is still there. However, a year from now, I can't tell you Facebook is going to be the big thing. Something else is going to be in place. But I'm the person whose job it is to watch this shit every single day so that I can do the best that I possibly can for your business results, meaning helping you make money and meeting your revenue goals. And you do not have time because you uh, or knowledge to be uh, candidly to be in a position to follow that information and understand those trends and know what they mean and translate them into future um, objectives of what to focus on and what's going to happen. That's why people pay me. But you know I don't charge twenty five dollars an hour because I haven't been a college student for twenty five years. Okay, but you get a two to one to three to one return, uh, four to one ROI. Uh, generally speaking, within three to six months on the return uh, on the on the work that I do, right? Can get someone cheaper, not a problem. You ain't gonna get the results. I, I've seen it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen it. I get calls from people because they call me and they go, "Yeah, we hired this agency. We hired this guy who works out of his home." We hired this college student who said he knows SEO. We got no results. We spent the money. Um, what they don't want to admit, which I already know, is they're cheap. They wanted to save money. They wanted to go the least expensive route and spend $500 a month. You ain't getting SEO or a digital marketing for $500 a month. I mean, I don't know where these numbers come from, but get that out of your head right now. Okay? If you don't have $1,500 to $2,000 a month, you can't afford to do this work. You better go back to uh, giving your business card out in bars and trying to generate you know, word of mouth. I'm just putting it to you plainly. Nobody else is going to put it to you this way. But I'm just telling you shit that's gonna, that works and doesn't work. Because I have 12 years of experience of what works and doesn't work. So the point of the video is this. You have to be doing internet marketing. You got no way around it. Your customers that 20 years ago weren't online are all now gone online. And now there's been an additional step. They've gone from laptops to desktops to mobile. So if you haven't made that transition, you're again behind the cue ball. Right? So technology is ever changing. Technology is a lifeblood of your business. Technology brings you customers. It makes you visible as a business. It highlights your business. It gets your phone number out there. Gets your phone ringing. It gets you appointments scheduled. It gets you appointments called to service uh, clients. It, get, it generates you revenue. If you're not following the technology, you're living in the 80s. Your business, your business won't survive marketing the way we marketed in the 80s, and that's just the plain fact of the matter whether you're in the US the Me Mexico Canada I do a lot of work by the way for American Canadian and Mexican businesses I travel to Guadalajara and many other countries mm, at least once a quarter because I have many clients over there as well and I do the same work for them but using uh, their local directories their Google local search their local business listings and so on and so forth as I would in the US or as I would in Canada and a couple of com companies uh, in, in Europe as well but it's not my goal to really expand into Europe as uh, someone running 
a digital marketing company. Um, it's my goal to focus on what I know, markets that I know. I'm from Canada. I live in Mexico. I live in the U.S. I travel back and forth. I actually travel predominantly between Canada, sorry, between Vancouver, Los Angeles, and Guadalajara, uh, and sometimes New York, um, to lecture and speak on these topics because I'm an authority in the field and I'm a known authority in the field. I get hired to do that. So, um, I'm, 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 I'm basically giving you, uh, look, I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm not trying to sell you on me. I'm trying to help you help yourself. I'm giving you information to help, to help you uh, be informed on how to do a better job as an entrepreneur and do a better job um, being successful at your business so that you can have a better life and that you can take better care of your family because um, uh, it, genuinely that, 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 that's why I'm in this business. Um, and for so long because my passion and my interest in working with entrepreneurs and seeing them do well is um, quite honestly it's, it, it's immensely rewarding it's immensely rewarding for me can't speak for others but for me it's not about the dollar um, it's about a win-win business partnership between a marketer and a business owner and an entrepreneur teaming up to succeed. So, <clears throat> should you be interested? I have a lot of videos on Facebook. There's so much free information I put out there. I must be insane. But again, I'm not in this to um, get your business. I'm in this to help you help yourself. If you want to call me, you can call me. The number is 318-383-8067. I give everyone a 30-minute consultation of no obligation, during which time I guarantee you, you will learn a few things new about internet marketing. I'll help set you on a, on a path of things to think about, and you will get tips that, believe me, they're invaluable and you're not going to learn them on your own because you just, you know, you're good at very good at what you do. I understand that. But you may not very be, very be, excuse me, you may not very be, be very good at digital marketing. And that's where I come in. And um, it'll be worth every minute that you spend. Um, you can email me and you can also look at my other video clips there's a wealth of information on youtube and i have a website that is www.googlerank.online feel free to check it out um i would appreciate it my little buddy here tico my chihuahua who i rescued from death row would appreciate it and um, uh, it's as simple as that that's what it's about it doesn't everything in life doesn't have to be rocket science if you have this skill set you just execute and you get good results and you know I'll just leave it at that so adios and I appreciate you watching my video